So we looked at all, all our uh, ranges of motion. We're now going to be going on to our manual muscle tests, which just try and emphasize the muscles that create those motions and help identify what structures are injured. Uh, the first one we're going to be doing is the soleus. So you're going to have your patient prone. You're going to bend their knee to 90 degrees and stabilizing at the lower leg here and at the heel, at the calcaneus. You're going to try and push your patient into plantar flexion, so don't be moving. So have them resist and that would be a great five. We're now going to be doing a manual muscle test of tibialis posterior. Tibialis posterior plantar flexes and inverts the ankle, so we're just going to have her try and create that. Uh, starting in a neutral position though, we're going to try and dorsiflex and evert her ankle to try and make emphasize that tibialis posterior when she starts pushing uh, resisting that motion. So I'm going to try and dorsiflex and evert, and I'm going to have you resist, okay? Okay, okay don't let me move you. So that's a grade five, so you want to. We're going to do a manual muscle test for fibularis longus and brevis. Fibularis longus and brevis dorsiflexes and everts the foot. So again, we're just going to try and plantar flex and invert uh, the ankle. So starting in a neutral position, I'm going to have you create that motion, so don't let me move here. Good, so that's a grade five. I'm going to be doing a manual muscle test of tibialis anterior. So tibialis anterior dorsiflexes and also inverts the ankle. So we are going to be uh, trying to put our patient into plantar flexion and eversion. So starting in a neutral position, I'm going to try and plantar flex plantar flex and evert, and you're going to dorsiflex and invert, okay? Okay, so three, two, one. That's a grade five. We're now going to be doing a manual muscle test of extensor halicus longus and brevis. Uh, what they do is they extend the halicus or the big toe. So you're going to stabilize uh, the metatarsals here, and you are going to be trying to push their big toe into flexion. So don't let me do that. Extend your, extend your toe, extend your toe. Okay, so they're able to meet my resistance, that's a grade five. We're now going to be doing a manual muscle test of extensor digitorum longus and brevis, so they help extend the toes here. So stable, coming to a neutral position, stabilizing under the heel. Uh, I'm gonna try and flex the toes, uh, not including the big toe, you're just testing these. So don't let me move. So that's a grade five. We're now doing a manual muscle test for flexor digitorum. So it flexes the digits. You're going to stabilize underneath the heel and you're going to try and extend your patient's toes. So don't let me extend you, just meet my resistance. So that's a grade five, they were able to meet my resistance. We're now going to be doing a manual muscle test for flexor halicus longus. So it flexes the halicus or the big toe. So you're going to start by stabilizing your patient's foot by grabbing underneath the heel, putting them in a neutral position. And with your thumb, you're just going to try and extend their toe, and they're going to meet your resistance and flex. So don't let me move you. So that's a grade five. We're now going to perform a manual muscle test for abductor halicus. So it abducts the big toe. So you're going to stabilize the heel, putting your patient's ankle in a neutral position and you're going to try and adduct their big toe and they're just going to meet your resistance and try and abduct it. So meet my resistance. So that's a grade five.